was thinking about telling you the story of the first gang fight I've ever gotten in. It was unreal. I was, uh, first of all, let me start with, uh, I had one Mexican, maybe two Mexican kids in my school. I come from a small redneck town. We don't know anything about gangs. Like, there was a gang in middle school called Purple Burton. Who the fuck names a gang after a snowboard, okay? That, we're not tough. We don't know shit, okay? But uh, we get this one Mexican guy from school that I met at church at first, actually. He's a private school Colombian kid, okay? His name's Pedro. And uh, he doesn't know anything about gangs. He's been in Christian school his entire life. But he gets a transfer to go to high school because he meets all of us at this church. He doesn't realize we're just a bunch of badass drunk rednecks. We don't know anything about gangs or anything like that. Neither does he, but he thinks he does. So, anyways, we, we know him. He's pretty cool. And we, uh, we, we're hanging out, and he is banging some chick from another school, like a rival-type school. Um, it's not really rival, but whatever. We, we made it that way. And, uh... So he ends up banging these girls from another school. And so he runs into these other kids and they fucking, they basically make fun of him because we're an all white neighborhood with all white kids. And he runs into one other Mexican kid at the other school, like the other Mexican. So anyways, they talk some shit and he's like, yeah, well, my buddy's a fucking beat your ass, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, oh, he comes to our school. Yeah, there's going to be this fucking brawl between these two we're buying in. We don't fucking know. We don't realize that it's just one dude talking shit. We think that this is on. He's, they're coming after us with trucks and bats and shit. They never show up. But uh, anyways, we go out that Friday night and we're partying, you know, and you know, we got buddies that are 21 and shit. So I got one buddy that's 21 in the front seat. I'm in the back there's this other dude, he's like 6'9", supposed to be some karate fucking badass giant, and Pedro in the front seat, and we're rolling a fucking Hyundai, we got this Hyundai with tinted windows, so we think we're fucking boys in the hood, fucking cracking the windows, looking out like we're fucking badasses, because we're going to roll out, we're going to find these dudes and talk some shit. Like, like we could do some shit, you know? But we don't know. Like, my buddy in the front fights all the time. He's fucking... He looks like this weird-ass kickboxer because he fights like this. And I don't even know what that means, but he gets to hit in the face a lot. That's what happens. And, I mean, but he throws a punch from the cheap seats. And he usually knocks me flat. I don't know how he hits him, but he looks like this. I, I, it's fucking crazy. I've never seen anything like it. He thinks he's a badass, and he kind of is. Um... And then there's fucking Pedro, who I don't think's ever been in a fight in his life. I'm pretty sure he can't fight, but he knows this guy in the back that knows karate that's like fucking six foot nine. He used to get beat up at school all the time because he wouldn't fight with his karate. I, I know this, but Pedro thinks he's a badass. I've seen him get beat up since grade school, so I fucking know that he doesn't know shit, but I'll just let him keep telling the story. Either way, here's what happens roll up to an AM PM and we're fucking we're fucking you know thugs could be I guess <laughs> I don't I don't know it's thug as it's gonna get we got this guy fucking no fighting karate guy me who's just fucking running my mouth all the time I got no fighting skills but I talk a lot of shit and then fucking a Hispanic guy in the front who's supposed to look like a gangster badass and he kind of looks like it but we find out later that he can't fight either. <laughs> so, anyways, we see, he's like, there's those dudes. They pretty much want to pull him out of the car, and they do. And so, at first, so we get out of the car, except for our six foot nine badass, who's fucking karate fight guy, who doesn't get out at all. He can't fucking, he doesn't help us at all at first. <laughs> so, they start, he fucking gets out of the car, instantly they're fucking, it's on. The rest of us don't know what we're supposed to do in gang fights, so we're just kind of, like, watching this. But here's what happens. He fucking gets him in his headlock, and he's got his glasses on and shit. And there's a headlock, and this guy's name is fucking Graylam. Anyway, that's his last name. He fucking gets him in the headlock. 
and he's holding them, and I'm fucking, all of a sudden, I never heard a fucking fight stop before, but it did, it fucking stopped, and they, he's like, hold on, hold the fuck on, I got my glasses on, I don't want to fucking break them, they're fucking nice glasses, and so they actually stopped fighting, that's when fucking Big Karate gets out of the fucking car, he grabs the glasses, fucking sets them in on the dash, I don't know if he gets back in the car, but I'm pretty sure he does, because he, he just wanted to protect the glasses, I guess. I don't know. But they stop in the middle of the fight. He's like, oh, the fuck on. They fucking hand the glasses. And then they go, they go. I don't even know how they got. Then they go back to fucking, like, still in the headlock. I mean, he should have used that move to get out of the headlock. But he didn't. So then my fucking buddy Eric rushes in. That's this guy. Fucking rushes into the middle of the fight. Like, the middle of the fight. And he swings. He hits a guy. And then, so I'm like, I'm like, fuck, I got to do something. So I get all tough and I run. I find the fucking smallest guy. I mean, this guy's probably three foot two. I push him because I'm fucking smart. (laughs) I'm not losing my first gang fight when I'm fucking. So I push a little guy because that's who I am. I'm a giant and I push this little guy because that makes me tougher. I don't know why, but I was, I was kind of scared. And then what do I do? I yell, cops! Everybody fucking splits, and then it's just, we're dumb. We just, since I yelled, cops, we're standing there like we won the fight, and then fucking, I think Dennis came out, and he threw, like, one kick, but he fell down. He, like, throws a kick, falls down, gets back in the car. He's like, that was fucked up. I'm not really good at fighting, and I don't appreciate you guys getting me in fights because I'm a black belt, and I can get in trouble for fighting. And I was like, you didn't do any fighting. You just collected the glasses. You didn't You didn't fight anybody. How are you going to get in trouble for sitting in the car? We're trying to buy beer here. And then you do a bunch of not fighting. And you, you're you doing the most whining. Okay. I'm the only one who was scared. I didn't know anything about what's really going on. And fucking Eric's the only one who actually punched anybody. And, and you're the one worried about getting in a fight. I don't know what happened, but that was my first gang fight. I'm not going to tell you what happened later on. That's going to be a different story. But, uh, yeah, that's how my first real gang fight went down. So, long story short, if you get one Mexican in your school and you hang out with them, you're going to get in a gang fight. That's what I learned. Rick out.